Yo B, they ready. Let's go. Feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my. I'm with some hood girls looking back at it, and a good girl in my tax bracket got a black card and less sex habit. These Chanel bags is a bad. All right, you guys. Before I even start this review, can we talk about the color? The color on this hair. Yes. So you guys, this hair is from Wow African, which is a hair company, of course, and they sell a bunch of beautiful, beautiful wigs. So this wig, um, hold on, let me get the information. So this wig was naturally blonde. I lost the clip of me dyeing this wig so you guys are able to see the natural color of this hair. So I will insert some pictures here and there while I'm talking so you guys can see how this hair was before I colored it and cut it like this. The wig was inspired by Beyonce's, you know, blonde bob when she had like the brown roots coming in. You know that wig she wore in that one video, um, Drunk in Love? It was inspired by that. The hair color was ombre and number two, 613. So, of course, the roots were like a brownish color and the rest of the hair was 613. It was like a platinum blonde. And the hair length was 12 inches. And the cap construction was a cap seven. Um, of course, it's a lace front. So the cap construction is a cap seven lace front and lace front was four inches. So, you know, I could part it like all the way back here, as you can see. And the wig density is 150%. And the wig is virgin Brazilian hair, 100%. Of course, as you can tell, it's like so flowy and silky. 150% density. Um, I never had a wig like that, I don't think. And it's like really thin. I wouldn't recommend 150% density. It's not really natural to me. It's like very, very thin. Um, wow African is a wonderful company that reached out to me. The lady that reached out to me, her name was Lisa. She was very, very nice. She recommended me to do a review on their Yaki Bob, and I was like, I don't know, because I never worked with Yaki hair, so when I hear Yaki, I think of these fly hair, so I asked her, I was like, is this hair good? Is it nice? She's like, yeah, it's very nice. It's like virgin hair. So I looked on their website, and I seen this Beyonce Bob, and I was like, ooh, I don't know if I want to do that Yaki Bob. I think I want to go with the Beyonce Blonde inspired wig. So she was like, how about we send you two? So I was like, okay, that's perfect. You know, I never worked with a Yaki wig. I'll be so excited to do that and of course I'll love to um, do a review on some blonde hair which is very new. So um, not new to me, I have blonde hair but new to you guys because you guys never seen me with blonde hair. And when I got the hair it came in this cute box, both of the wigs fit in this box and they also sent me two wig caps which were a uh, chocolate brown, like a really really deep brown color which was perfect for my skin tone because all the other companies that send me wigs, they always send me this nude wig cap and it's like, hello, your girl is chocolate, like, what are you guys doing? So the wigs came in here and it comes with these two little cards. I'm going to read these actually. So the wig came with this card, it says cash back on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. On the best, it says the best customer experience, that way we strive for every day. Wow, African cares every customer. We hope you always feel comfortable with our hair products and enjoy it. Would you love to show your beauty and share the hair tips tutorials with us? $30 cash will be back if you make a video on YouTube to show and tell with our hair. So it says a bunch of other stuff on it. And it also comes with this pamphlet here. It says wowafrican.com professional hair beauty plaza. And if you open it, um, I think this you want to return it. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is if you want to return it here, and it has some hair care tips, and it has some tips for maintaining curly hair, which I'm going to have to read. This is really, really good. Like, it has some pictures of some beautiful ladies on here that rock their hair. We're just going to jump in about this hair color, because I know you guys are looking at me like, girl, your hair is not blonde. So, this wig came um, in a very, like, different style than what this is now. It was like a side part. This side was, like, really, really long, and this side was short. And of course, it was blonde. The lace was like the perfect color. I didn't really have to um, tint the lace or anything. Like, even on my, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm just gonna show you guys the Yaki wig. So this is the Yaki wig here. Um, I am gonna be doing a review on this, so I'm not gonna talk about it as much. So this is like beautiful. Cause I have the wig on my hand, I'm gonna show you guys how this wig is constructed. Cause it's constructed the same way this wig is. So I did bleach the knots on this wig already, as you can tell. And this is freshly wash without a flat iron and that just goes to show you their hair is bomb like I just love it so 
Same with this wig, it came with two combs on the side, like so. I cut those combs out on the side because it was like really bothering me. And it comes with a comb in the back and lace in the back as well if you want to put it in a ponytail. As you can see on my Instagram, I was rocking the blonde hair in a ponytail like the whole time I had the wig on, which was like two weeks. You know, because I was in LA rocking my blonde hair and I never wore it down so that just goes to show you can wear it in a bun. All the webs are in the back here and all this part is lace. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So all that is laced there, and you can see like their lace comes a nice little brown color so it will blend seamlessly with your skin if you want to. You can add some powder foundation, I added just a little bit to this one. It comes with a drawstring here so you can tighten your wig on your head, it comes with these. They look like little bra clips if you ask me. I can't wait to do a review on this because this looks like my real hair, like it looks so natural. I see why they say yakky because it's more of a natural texture and not that like virgin silky texture this is more of a black girl texture if you follow your hair i styled this wig into a middle part i plucked the middle part and i cut the long part so it could look like a blunt bob i didn't really like the whole side part one long and one short on the side i looked like an auntie i wasn't really feeling it this is how i cut it this is the back here as you can see the back is really short because this side was really short on over here and this hair was so easy to dye i had no problem because it was platinum hair um, the dye that I used was Adore dye. I'm not really a fan of Adore, but since the hair was platinum, I went ahead and used some Adore dye. I didn't really need to go out and get expensive dye like I normally would if I was bleaching some natural black hair and wanted to get like a bright color. So I think the color I used was Orange Sunrise or Orange Sunset. It's something like that and I mixed it with True Red and True Red was like a rusty, rusty orange but like a reddish type of color is really pretty so I mixed two bottles of orange sunrise and like a half a bottle of true red and I got this pretty orange color it's not really the orange I was going for I was going for more of a a deeper orange to go on my skin tone but this is what I came out with and it's bomb like I'm absolutely loving it I feel like with this look I could tone down my makeup just a little bit more and throw in some hazel contacts which I am going to do this weekend. Check me out on Snapchat. <laughs> but this hair is amazing. Like, it's just so flowy. I can run my fingers straight through it. And I washed this hair so many times. It's ridiculous. Because when it comes to my frontals, my frontal wigs, I like to take it off after two days and wash the got to be gel out of it. Put it back on, take it out, wash it again. And of course, with this hair, I had to wash it, um, you know, because I was dying it. So I washed it. Two days before I dyed it, and then I washed it again. I had to wash the dye out. And this is how it came out. This lace wig came pre-plugged, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't have to pluck it. The only thing I plucked was my... Actually, I did pluck it. I did pluck it, but I didn't pluck it that much because it came so natural. But like I was saying, the only thing I plucked was my part. And I like how the part goes so far back. It's not just like stopping right here like my other wigs do. Well, some of my other wigs. So I absolutely love that. See how natural that looks? Like their lace is just so natural and bomb. That dye even caught on the roots a little bit. Like the roots don't look um, black over here. It actually looks orange. So I'm actually feeling that. This hairdo and this hair color you could do so many type of fun styles with. Like I was playing with it on Snapchat last night. I had two pigtails like that. And it was on the other side as well. Or you could do like top knot space buns. Or you could do this fun style. I feel like with this color and this style, I wouldn't really do just plain, straight down, blunt cut behind the ears. No, I feel like you could have some fun with this, as you can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Everything you need to know about Wild African will be down below in the description box. Look out for my next review that I'm going to be doing on their Yaki um, Bob wig. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.